everybody. Welcome back to Barber Dave's Barber Shop at Home, and I hope everybody had a wonderful New Year's Day. Now we're going to do something a little bit different today. We're going to give the uh, Tridari, or excuse me, the Tedalus a little bit of a break today, and we're going to go back to a DE, one that I have not used since my blood clot uh, situation occurred, but we figured we'd go ahead and do it. Plus, we're going to do something we hardly ever do. We're bowl lathering. Yes, Believe it or not, we're bowl lathering today. We're using a Sorrentino Pillars of Creation breath, brush with an AP uh, synthetic. Um, like I said, I don't uh, bowl lather that very often, but I do like my Captain's Choice lather bowl that gets dusty more than anything. And the soap we're using today is the original iteration of CBL's Orion Base. Uh, this is in the California Sunrise. This was the very first one that uh, he came out with in that base. And I've never bowl lathered it before, but I saw Chris doing his beard shave uh, in his, uh, and so I figured what the heck, I'd give it a try. A uh, little bit tougher to actually lather in the bowl than, uh, than on the face, but uh, finally got it nice and creamy and everything else. So we'll see how the Tridari does today. as I said, I have not used it since I uh, was diagnosed with a blood clot. But I've used a straight, and then of course both the removable bladed straight, so I think we probably should be okay. Because the next one that I'll go to is my my really aggressive uh, DE, which is the Blackbird Titanium. That is a probably the most aggressive DE that I have. That one of my open comb aristocrats is probably pretty close. So the Tridari's got a uh, Wizabet blade in it. Like all the Orion base from CBL in whatever flavor, that's just wonderful. One thing about the Orion Base, and I Chris mentioned it, once you get it on your fingers, though, you are slick for days. I think it's probably the slickest soap out there. There's something really special for you later on. And this is for Nurse Dave. Unbeknownst, Thayer's came out with uh, some special uh, witch hazels. And one was the Lemon Professional. And then what I just got in was the, the Professional Ultra Elite Thayer's Lemon. Just kidding, it doesn't exist. It's kind of a play between uh, Dave and myself. And speaking of Nurse Dave, right here, don't forget to check out his channel. Give him some love. He's He did a really nice beginner's uh, shaving series which is really good. Also check out uh, Major Rich, uh, Spider, KJ, and Nurse, and uh, excuse me, Bill M. Bill M's got a really nice uh, series on convex honing. And then of course, um, for those of you straight shavers, if you look through my archives, either here on the TSC, uh, you can see uh, Straight Shaving 101, and it goes through from beginning to advance. So when you think about it, between us all, we've got your, uh, between Nurse Dave and myself, Bill, we've got your honing taken care of. We've got your uh, 
beginning DE shaving taken care of. We've got your straight shaving taken care of. And then KJ does a bunch of stuff on how to travel, you know, so all your travel shaves. So the TSC is really one stop. So come on over, www.theshavingcadre.com. Again, don't forget to check out the guys right up here. You know, the Chidari's got uh, kind of a an interesting history. It was not very long, the original. But I think uh, Sean at Blackland, uh, I don't know if he bought the plans or the gentleman that originated the Chidari uh, gave him the plans but i've shaved with both i haven't owned both but i've shaved with both and uh this is about the truest representation on the zoom call the other night uh spider kj was showing us another legendary razor that you can't find anymore, except a little bit on the secondary market. And if you can, they're hugely expensive. And that's the Darwin. And I think Asylum came out with a Darwin uh, copy, similar to what Blackland did with the Tridari. And it was uh, wonderful. Did not get in on that. I wish I would have, but that's okay. I gotta say, bowl lathering wasn't terrible. I'm just not used to it. I'm more of a face latherer, but this actually came out pretty good. Much to my faith lather, face lather brethren, I will say that bowl lathering does give a more consistent lather across the three passes. In other words, you don't have to add anything uh, where with face lathering. Sometimes it's not dialed in right away. But bull lathering is a little bit more intense as far as Getting it ready, getting the consistency right, getting the water right. Or with face lathering, you just kind of load and go. But, not bad. Having not used this razor for a while, I forgot how heavy it is. It um, is every bit as heavy as my old, which I don't have anymore, the Asylum RX. But it's balanced very, very well. So it's easy to maneuver. I'm not sure if these are still even available from Blackland, but they're a wonderful razor. And I think they had a closed comb and an open comb. I, I prefer open comb razors normally, but uh, a wonderful shave. The nice thing about CBL's Orion, as with some others,
very easy to clean up with without any additional soap So yeah, but after after shaving with the uh, the feather and the essence, still still good BBS shave, but nothing like those um, or a straight, but still nice. Yeah, no alum zap at all, and that was Proasso alum, by the way. So yeah, very nice shave. And like I said, the CBL Orion is just wonderful stuff. Okay, now this is the surprise. Now it's in a nondescript bottle, but it is a little bit different. This is Thayer's Lemon Professional Ultra Extreme. And I'm sure that Mr. Nurse Dave is going to be getting the latest version which is probably the ultra super extreme. We'll see. Oh, ultra super professional extreme. So that's just. We've been trying to get Thayer's to give us give us some love, so we figure you know, we'll start making stuff up. Okay, California Sunrise uh, CBL Shave Tonic. It's more of a milk, but it's very very creamy. Don't need a lot. Just good stuff all around. No top today. And for the EDT, we are going to use Canoe. Kind of briny, citrusy. A lot of people say it's, it's similar to Pnod Club, and I don't see that, but that's okay. All right, folks, that's it. Thank you for joining us at Barber Dave's Barbershop at Home on the 2nd of January, 2022. We hope everybody has a wonderful, wonderful day. And again, come check us out, www.theshavingcadre.com. If you like what you see, right down here, you'll see a barber pole with a cowboy hat. Click on that to subscribe and then ring the bell if you would like to receive notifications when new content comes out. Again, I'm Barber Dave. Have a wonderful day. Mm -hmm.